Slate one, take one. Uh, my name is Sam Aaron. Um, I'm a live coder, so I turn code into music. And I use uh, a system called Sonic Pi, which I developed, uh, which I both go into schools and teach children how to code with, but I also used to perform as a DJ in very, various different places. I really liked programming when I was a child. Um, I always liked programming, and so I decided to do a degree at university in programming. Then I went on to do a PhD in programming, so I just carried on, and then I got a job as a programmer. Um, and so from that point then, I really then was about what is interesting to me, um, what do I believe in, and how do I really chase that. So from just being a traditional programmer in a normal organization programming, I then moved slowly into being a person that can uh, take my skills, which is, which is programming in general, and use it for the things I believe in and get excited about. For me, that's expression and music in particular. I don't really have a typical day. I mean, yesterday I was in uh, Stoke-on-Trent uh, uh, talking to a bunch of school children. Last week I was in Stuttgart uh, doing a, a DJ performance in a nightclub and also talking to art students at the university. The week before that, I was t in Amsterdam talking to a company uh, about what I do in a sort of an inspirational speech. Uh, and then in between those times, I'm in my studio at home uh, developing the software that I, I work on, practicing the performances I perform, uh, and uh, creating educational material for people to copy. So it's, it's really hard to, to have a typical day. What's really nice is the variety in those days, which I get excited by. The software I write, Sonic Pi, is is used by, has been used by one and a half million people and to see that, that use and see what people are doing with it, how they're expressing themselves. So seeing ladies in India making beautiful Indian music and a guy in Finland making ridiculously heavy metal rock music and there's a lady in Canada making an opera with it. So for me that the significance is seeing what other people can do, how they can express themselves with the tools that I've created is, is, is for me a very beautiful thing. The world we're living in is so fast-paced, it would be very difficult for me to give some advice that would be relevant necessarily in five years' time, other than to keep your mind open. You can keep learning things for as long as possible. I think that's that would be the best, you'd be much more better placed to deal with the rate of, pace of change in the world around you, and also to have a much more interesting life. There's the people I've seen who have just said, nope, I've stopped learning things. I think that for them, that's really a, a very sad decision to make. So keep your minds open, keep learning things. Cool, thank you very much. Thank you.